Hey, what's going on, everybody? Sorry about the noise in the background. I'm in a garage. I, uh, on vacation coming back this weekend. Thank you guys who have stayed subscribed. Um, because Netflix has been, I mean, Netflix. I'm so pissed. YouTube has been purging a lot of my, uh, a lot of my subs. So, any of you guys out there that, uh, do YouTube, <laughs> have videos ready when you go on vacation to release. Um, God damn. Who would give me a second? Sorry, I had to fix the camera. Uh, way. All right, so last couple days, I've been seeing uh, a lot of people talking about this um, this film. <laughs> this film, Cuties, it's coming out on Netflix. Um, I watched the trailer. I did watch the trailer. I wanted to get informed. I wanted to see what this was about because a lot of people were upset. And uh, after looking at this, oh, man, this is the state we're in, right? This is the state we're in with, uh, with entertainments, with Hollywood culture. A Hollywood culture that has for years now called people like you and me, alt-right, toxic, Trump-supporting, racist, sexist, blah, 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 all that, all that bullshit, uh, because we don't like their far leftist propaganda. Uh, in our escapism, place, you know, places where it don't belong, their their political rhetoric, their social rhetoric, where it don't belong. We're sick. We're sick as after decades of uh, uh, victims of sexual abuse in Hollywood, the like child sexual abuse have been coming forward uh, and trying to tell us for decades um, what kind of culture Hollywood is. This after uh, they let Harvey Weinstein run around and uh, sexually abuse, um, you know, women at the casting couch. Uh, for, for, you know, for however long. Uh, this after a while, a lot of these Hollywood types and political types were going to Epstein's Island. And we all know what happened there. And they have the audacity to attack the fans because of the treatment that we've been getting in uh, Disney Star Wars, CBS All Access, Star Trek, Doctor Who, and many others, uh, Terminator Dark Fate. You know, y'all you know, y'all know. Your fandom menace, you know. Um, they inject their their social and political and politics into our entertainments, and then when we have a problem with it, uh, they call us names and labels. Yet, um, yet they can produce, they can produce this, <laughs> they can produce, and they can put out this this show, the show Cuties, and Cuties is about the sexualization of eleven year old girls. Now, twerking is something thoughts and hoes do that's all it is right it's not it's not it's not an elegant expression of dance it's not it's never been we all know what it is we all know what it is that's uh, that's a hoe at the club trying to get laid that is women competing against one another to be more sexually attractive to young men with low standards low standards just want to get some hoes these the, the, all twerking is that's all twerking. Now, if you want, if you do that, then you do that. It's whatever. If you're trying to get a man, or if you're just, you know, you know, if you're a grown ass woman doing that, that's on you, boo. And if you're a dude who enjoys that, that's on you. Look, I like sexy broads too. All right, but leave it in that realm, and and don't act like it ain't nothing than it is. That's all twerking is. Is for thoughts and hoes on the internet. That's all it is. It has absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with children. Should not have anything whatever to do with children. And yet, we are not only seeing a film uh, produced by a woman who should know better, right? Because we're the toxic misogynist men. We're the ones who have been uh, uh, talking down to women. We're the ones that don't like women in film. We're the ones who don't, uh, you know, who, who, who seem to be you know, bashing women or so. We're, we're so against women directors and women writers and all this shit that a woman... O N A P O C. Don't forget that term. Uh, produces this film that is going to that is teaches chill eleven year old children not only to disrespect their heritage. Remember, Hollywood attacks the family too. And um, I don't care what heritage this family is. 
uh, there is something to be said for respecting the fabric of family values. Now, whether you grow up and disagree with those and decide to strike out on your own, then that's what you do. That's what I did. My, my parents weren't wicked. I grew up and decided that I wanted to go that route as I was a teenager. Thankfully, I had parents who were open enough to allow me to explore that. And that's what I, that, that's a, the road, the route that I went. Like, it's not, that's nothing that's not unheard of. But the family structure and the family unit is very important, instilling values. Even though I am a Wiccan, I have Christian values. Because my parents taught me Christian values, and I took the best of that and made it a part of myself. I didn't just start calling them killers. I didn't just brought, bring up uh, uh, the Crusades and, and, the, and the torture of, of how many thousands of people all the time to them. I didn't do that. I respected the values of my parents. So this film is not only teaching that these 11-year-olds should be sexualized, but being sexual at a young age is rebellious to the fabric of uh, that family, of that culture. This is an attack, again, using entertainments as a platform for propaganda to not only attack the fabric of the family, but to allow or promote the sexualization of children. Now, I saw my girl Jane Theory bringing up about dance groups have been doing this for a while, and I can't disagree with that. I can't disagree with that. Uh, but I've never really been involved with dance groups. But I'll tell you this. I got my underage niece in the car with me right now. I wouldn't want her watching this garbage. I got my underage son in the car right now. I wouldn't want him watching this garbage. As a father, as an uncle, as a freaking feeling human being. Uh, this is disgusting. This is disgusting, Netflix. What the hell are you doing? This is why, this is one of the reasons why the fandom menace needs to exist. Because the access media, the mainstream media, the shills, they're first off probably not even going to talk about this. And if they do, and if they do, they're going to promote it and celebrate it and call it stunning and brave. Guarantee you all those people that love PEDOs out there on Twitter and on the internet, them far leftists, they're promoting this garbage. You know they are. They're, they're clapping it. This is wonderful. This is, this is so good. Because those motherfuckers don't respect anything that came before them, like family values, traditions, protecting children. I'm really heated about this. Um, I just looked on the, uh, the video, it's got 124,000 downvotes, good. Can we see 500,000? I know I'm a little channel, share me around a little bit, promote the, uh, the other guys that are talking about this, but can we see 500,000 downvotes? I want to see them take the comments and downvotes off. Netflix, you got some shit to answer for. I'm, I'm not supporting you no more. I'm not supporting you no more. You know, The Witcher brought me in. The Witcher brought me back, I'll be honest, because of Henry Cavill's comments about respecting the fans. I respect Henry Cavill. So I was looking forward to seeing more. Uh, but I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. Not what you sick, not what you sick in, in Hollywood. None of you. I can't do it anymore. You have no regard whatsoever for the family, for, for the family unit, for family values. You have no respect for protecting children because y'all live in a culture that has been abusing kids, abusing women, uh, and most of y'all are white dudes who, who turn around and call me. Call me a sexist or a racist or whatever it is because to just simply due to my skin tone, you hypocritical bigots. You sick fucks. It's not us out here that's making, that's, uh, that, that makes any, any, any group look bad. It's y'all. It's y'all. It's not racism. It's classism. Y'all have been too rich and too fat and living off other people's dreams for too long. Too long. You've been doing it for so long that you think you can, can run wreck loose and produce this kind of garbage and rape kid, do whatever you want to do you, you, for, with impunity. We're sick of it. The menace is sick of it. The, 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 the population is sick of it. We're sick of you virtue signaling about the candidates that you want us to endorse, and if we don't endorse those candidates, that we're all pieces of garbage. We're sick of that. We're sick of hearing you. You're adult pretenders. Y'all in Hollywood, you in Netflix, all y'all, you're adult pretenders. You pay pretend for a living and get paid very well to do it. 
and you think that you have the ability to lecture us? You can lecture us? It's time for a change. America, it's time for a change. The world, it's time for a change. It's time to dethrone these sick fools. It's time. It's time. It's time to be done. It's time to excuse their, we're not excusing their behavior no more. We're not doing it. The world's waking up. We know what's going on. Where there's smoke, there's fire. And there's been smoke for a long time. And when y'all finally had the balls to call out Weinstein, you turned around and punished the rest of the world for it. Or only a segment of the population. I know y'all are fighting against racism, but hot damn, do you not label entire groups of people with umbrella negative terms all the damn time. And now you're going to produce this shit. Now you that this shit. I'm sick of it, Hollywood. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of all of you. I'm coming at you hard in volume two. Volume three, four, and five. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm going to expose your ass. Because there is no way, no rhyme or reason, that people who think so highly of themselves, who speak consistently about how virtuous and wonderful they are in their mansions, with their private security, while cities are being burnt down, while you, there is no way there is no way that history will look upon you as anyone virtuous. Not while you produce this garbage. We are sick of y'all. Stop effing kids. Stop effing kids. Grooming ass mother. You, you wealthy elite sons of bitches. I'm sick of you. We're all sick of you. The end is nigh, mother 